Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. It's episode 9 of our playthrough, and today we're going to uh, talk to Yen Sid and find out what's going on next. Last episode, as you remember, we read the book which apparently held all the information we would need for our journey. Frankly, I found it a little bit eh, vague, so hopefully Yen Sid is going to have more of an answer for us. Talk, damn you. Wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer. But while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. You're never going to eliminate them, let's be honest. Gorge, that must mean if Even everybody's heart Disney. was full of light, them heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. Indeed. <laughs> If one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. <coughs> the heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. Ah, yeah, there's At times, heads. if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. Oh, crikey. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. When you think about it, the name's no the way then. around. The being you see before you is known as a Dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. Because the nobody has a body. But there are others. And the heart Some larger, some with hearts. frightening and so unique powers. Dark as they might be. Be vigilant. So if you flip it around, so you make the, these On your dusks journey, you will heartless. meet an alarming number of accurate. Dusks. They will all attempt and to do you the harm. The Heartless don't have real bodies, so they really should be no bodies. Still, they are they nothing are. but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... <laughs> the beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13. While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. 
What round can he be? Back in well, we won't know till we pen. look. <laughs> yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the realm of darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, Exposition you will need more suitable everybody. traveling clothes. Oh, nice. Those I'm going to get some a bit better clothes. Small for you. I'm sick of shorts. I want trousers. Through there, now. you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Oh, the three fairies. Course, We're so going to get a bunch of beds sure to make, uh, fast. make clothes uh, for us. I guess. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I wonder if we get to choose what we uh, what we wear. I mean, it'll be a standard outfit, surely. Oh, now, what were their names? There was Merryweather and I don't remember the other two. Me, oh, dude. you guys, Riku and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah! So let's talk to the fairies. Oh, so the clothing has abilities then? I guess. Let's talk to all of the fairies. Again, I'm about as prepared as I can be, so... Let's see what these new clothes are all about. Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. Never do. Oh, now, now, <laughs> dears. But don't you like this better? You're just changing colors now. Are you certain? Blue. It's going to go on for a while, I think. How about you design something that is not any of those colours? Oh shit, there's the crow. Maleficent is definitely uh, back. Would you just decide? <gasps> oh, well. Oh. Yeah, Sleeping Beauty was a pretty decent movie. All right then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. It would be more like white, wouldn't it? Oh, my. Oh, I'm still wearing oh, stupid it's shorts. Lovely. Oh, yes. He does look very dashing. Now, those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. Wow! Oh, hello. Whoa! Yeah, dual wielding. Wow. I'm liking it. Two keyblades. This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. Oh. <laughs> the garments also have other powers, but you'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best, and thanks a lot. And there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. Oh, boy! Was he always called Yen Sid, or was that something that was just kind of indented down the line? Increase maximum combo by one when in midair. Okay, so that's the the buff for this. But I just like the fact I've got dual wielding keyblades. Like that fight against Axel was an absolute blast. I had no idea what I was doing, but it was just. I was a blur. I loved it. 
Right, so, the Valor form, with Goofy's help, use the drive command to change in the Valor form. Okay, oh, nice, okay, so you can change your secondary weapon into either a shield, or I imagine with Donald's help, we would be able to turn it into a wand at some point. The drive command has been added. The gauge on the lower right is consumed by transformation. Okay. It is powerful as it absorbs party members' strength, but party members disappear while transformed. Okay, right, so there's a trade-off, that's fair. So you get to use a shield, like, and it probably makes you really, really powerful, strong against attack. But the trade-off would be that you lose Goofy. Fair enough, then. I'm not going to use it now, that'd be a waste. Talk to the... So is this like the summoning ability that we had in the last game then? What the... You alright Goofy? Oh, there he goes again. What the heck? He got a jump on him. Oh, hello. What's happened there? Is that another orb? Oh no. It looks exactly like the one on the necklace. Interesting. Oh, is it part of a crest, like in the last game? Might need all of them to unlock a door or something. Okay, some can only be accessed after learning a certain ability. Hmm. Oh, the gummy ship's back! But it's the bog standard one. Man, I'm gonna have to redesign it again. That's a shame. It'd be nice if it could have carried over the save. But so you guys ready to go? Make it too easy, I suppose. Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That's good news. But that means the pathways between them have disappeared. That's not so good news. Time to get around! Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. Okay, so it These explains... pathways may be utilized by unlocking special right. gates. So the worlds will be familiar, but probably slightly different How if we go to any gates are worlds opened, we've been to before. I'm afraid I do not know. That's clever. However, it gives a little bit more the variation. Keyblade just will serve as your guide. Revisiting the, the same thing over and when over. When a beam of time. light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the gummy ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But be warned. As you proceed, the heartless and the nobodies will be using their own paths. Corridors of darkness to travel from world to world. We've seen them already. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How gets that far? Now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Legend! We sure do appreciate the help. It's Disney spell backwards, my dear selfish prick.
my goodness, what's that? Flora, Fauna and Merryweather. That was their names. Well, that's Maleficent's cloak. Don't tell me she's going to materialise into it. Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Oh, come on, girls. Yes, You're not that dear. stupid. I wonder whose it was. Oh, <gasps> Malefa! No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She was a mean old witch. Oh, no. The memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? Okay. Makes sense, though, because you can't have a sequel without oh, one of the ten no, pole bad guys. No, no. This is oh, well, very Perhaps we should tell Master Yen Sid. Yes, that's that what we must do. That would be a very Hurry. good idea. Yeah, leave one of your sisters there. That Maleficent! <laughs> oh, have to fight you again. Oh well. Howdy, Sora. How you doing? Oh, they talk in this one. Brilliant. It's your favorite dummy engineers here, ready for duty. Chip. And, and Dale. Dale. <laughs> I don't remember Dale sounding like that in the cartoon. In Rescue Rangers. Oh, I like the new map. Only one? That's no good. Wait, I think it's a world we know. It's not. That's not Traverse Town, right? Uh, use the left stick to fly the gummy ship. Try approaching the world at the bottom of the screen. When you arrive at your destination, press triangle to land. Right, so we're at Twilight Town now, I guess. The um... okay, so you can you can fly in somewhat off. Cool. So you got to, you can hurry along a little bit. I like this. It, it feels more like you're actually travelling there. Although, oh, Hollow Bastion? Are you kidding? The first place we go to is Hollow Bastion. Oh Jesus. Okay. Maybe it's not the evil place we remember. Maybe it's the place that we. Oh no, there's Pete. It's definitely the evil place we remember. Maleficent! I think we left uh, Squall and a bunch of other Final Fantasy characters there last time. Maybe they really did finish her off. Ooh, this castle sure ain't what I expected. No shine, no nothing. That's oh, not. Now what's going no, to happen to our Bastion. plan? I'm not sure about the read. I don't know how they justified the redesign. I guess they could argue that what we, the, the Hollow Bastion that we saw in the first game, we saw it from a different angle, or it was a different it's version Hollow Bastion. that's reverted. Of course, it looks kind of different now. Yeah, it does look different. At least we remember all of that stuff. But they've acknowledged it looks different, that's fine. Uh-oh, looks like we're gonna have to do some fighting. You think? Welcome to Hollow Bastion. Right, okay, so this, this looks like it's our new hub town where we can do all of our shopping and whatnot. Huey, Dewey and Louie's accessory shop. Items from previously visited shops will become available at shops in large towns. Makes sense. And a 
ability ring for 80 money. How much money have we got at the moment? See, that's a problem. We don't actually can't see how much we've got. Oh, hello. Form abilities tutorial. Form abilities are fixed. Advancing form abilities. By levelling up a form, these abilities can be used even out of that particular form. Ah, uh, cool. Okay. When in a form, a second weapon can be equipped. One keyblade with strength and abilities. Two keyblades with strength and abilities. Characteristics. Acquire abilities and strength from both weapons. Equipping sub-weapons. From items, select Sora. Select a form. Select a weapon to equip as a sub-weapon. Makes sense. Oh, I see. So what you would you would always in this version of the game you always have the kingdom key as your primary weapon, and then your secondary weapon is the collectible weapons that you get through the game, like in the first one. Makes sense. Okay. Item Sora. Okay, yeah, so we've only got the one at the moment, that makes sense. Accessor we haven't got any accessories. We've got 322 money. So we could buy a ring, but I don't really want to at the moment. What else have we got in here? Stock. I am so OCD where it comes to stuff like that. Abilities. Combo boost increases the damage of the finishing move on the ground relative to the number of hits in a combo. Uh, I've only got two AP to spare. Just can't use that at the moment. I could equip aerial recovery though. Might as well. I'm probably not going to use it, but uh, try it. Oh, hello. So, okay, so the valor menu is. Don't quite understand what the valor menu is. I guess this is for when we change form, when we transform. So these are all actions that you do when you transform, I guess? Oh, I don't know. Right. They've got everything equipped they need to have equipped. Status... Perform specialising physical attacks. Oh, that's right. Valor is the thing where we combine with Goofy, isn't it? Okay. I'm not going to bother with the journal, that could be a little bit boring for you guys. Um, okay, let's have a quick look round, and then we'll probably stick a pin in it for this episode. So this is just a regular shop. these at the moment. Hmm. I just need to check what they currently have. Um, party Donald. No, no, it's not party, is it? Uh, maybe it's items. Yeah, of course it's items. Okay, so we've got a major staff, which is strength one, magic one. Goofy's got a Knight Shield, which is Strength 1, Magic 0. So these are definitely upgrades, so we could we could buy both of these and upgrade them. 
and that'll immediately give us a bit of an advantage. It will leave us with 122 money as well, so we could even buy one of those ability rings back at the first store. Yeah, let's buy these. We will equip them. And then I wonder if we can sell. No, we can we can't sell weapons at all. Okay. So I'm gonna, that looks like the thing that I dropped. Referred to as a puzzle piece. Is this a shop or is it just a? Okay, that's probably going to come in handy at some point. Otherwise, why else would you see it? Oh, Moogle! Hello, Moogle. Okay, so I think you, you hand over, whenever you talk to them, you basically just hand everything over. And then, because you're not going to need it for anything else. There's nowhere else you can... Is that Scrooge? It is Scrooge McDuck. Um, we'll talk to Scrooge in a minute. It'll be cool to see Donald and Scrooge interacting. Um, so yeah, you, you hand everything over to them when you click Synthesize. So that goes into the Materials log. So Mithril Shard and Mithril Stone. We were given something in reply for, in, in return for that, so that's cool. There's nowhere else that we could use things like Mithril Shards and Mithril Stone, so it doesn't really matter if you hand all that stuff over. And that makes a lot more sense than just keeping it in your inventory. I like that, that's good. What have we got in here? Potions, Ethers and Tents. Okay, we're not going to worry about that at the moment. Let's have a word with Scrooge. Scrooge. And he's got his uh, original DuckTales outfit on, which is cool. I wish they had the voice actor in. I feel like that's a mission. Ah, oh, nice. At some point we're going to end up making ice cream. This ice looks like it could make good ice cream. Oh, come on people, <laughs> that's not how that works. Okay, let's go and find Leon and the rest of the crew. We are clocking on to nearly a half hour now so we're probably going to have to end this episode after this cutscene and then come back to the next oh. episode when we'll see if we can find Leon and the crew. Oh, what's going on? Uh. That's the town's defense mechanism. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Hey, Yuffie. Yuffie. And she's got a new outfit Look out. on. That's cool. <laughs> Time for a dust stop. Hey, you guys! 
I see you're still in top form. What'd you expect? Looks like you're doing okay. Well, what did you expect? I want the others. Great! Hey, Yuffie. Have you seen the King and Riku? Nope. But I had a feeling I'd see you guys again. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. Is that supposed to be Leon? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's working on stuff over at Merlin's house. Come on! And now we've got a map so we can find our way around. And that is going to do it for another episode of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.